Mexico exhibitor. One way or another has done lots of work overseas and has some fantastic nature photography. My work is, is not quite nature photography, but there are sort of similarities going on there. We have a, a kind of a tenuous overlap of subject matter, but our practices aren't the same. At a uh, university uh, uh, down the road at uh, Anglia, uh, Cambridge School of Art when, when we were both studying photography and digital media degree. My last exhibition was in response to hearing about Catherine's photography um, on safari in Africa. It's kind of a progression from that and I think the photography that, that Catherine's done that involves some of the same uh, subjects it kind of it, being able to see her nature photography kind of in the field and um, my not nature photography allows allows the viewer to kind of have a think about things and, and just sort of think well it, what it, what makes a zebra and and okay so what you know should it be in its own environment and, and should it be in a and it's not and then you know how long is that environment going to be existing for um, and it sort of asks wider questions I hope. That's up to the viewer. I'll, I'll very welcomely happily talk to them about what they think of it whilst they're looking at it or after they've looked at it but I don't really want to do that before they've seen it. I do have a definite ideas about what I, what it stands for for me but like I say I think that pe people should come to it fresh. I got into photography initially because I don't like being photographed. When I was a little um, having a camera in front of my face was really quite comforting. It just kind of that I started kind of looking through the camera and that I actually enjoyed doing active, taking active part in, in looking at the world around me through a little frame like this so, and suddenly it, it becomes different and you think differently mm -hmm. um, rather than just looking straight through your eyes. I very much like Gregory Crudson and Jeff Wall um, because they, they both create what you're looking at. It's just amazing the control that they have over over what the viewer sees and how much goes into their creations. It's not necessarily what's on what's in, in the four walls of, of the picture, but you start thinking about what goes on afterwards. It, I mean, it's, it's a single point in a narrative. Certainly Crudson is, is kind of very filmic in, in a lot of his stuff and he has kind of filmic production value things and has huge teams helping him out. I quite like the, uh, the control about it. It's had a name since 1850-ish, um, and in theory it's, it's um, scars in the brain um, because your own immune system starts eating the fatty tissue that, that surrounds nerves. I went to Huntington, Peterborough and, and Cambridge MS Centre because they have hyperbaric chamber, oxygen chamber, and so if you can flood your system with oxygen, if you breathe oxygen at depth, it floods your, your, all your tissues with oxygen and healing can occur. And so lots of sports people come to England to speed up their injury recovery time. It was set up by people with MS, for people with MS, because the NHS don't see it as a legitimate, uh, as a legitimate treatment for multiple sclerosis. I, I knew Ruthie because I was doing some design work for her kind of as a voluntary, as, on a voluntary basis a number of years ago before the salon was set up and we've kept in touch since.